Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to scrape good firms. If you're not already familiar with the platform, it's a great data source if you're looking for any sort of service based business. This one, they have a ton of marketing agencies, but they also have like IT consulting, a bunch of different like softwares, and it's really just like a very wide range of service based businesses. So I'm going to be showing you how you can scrape this platform. But let's, with that being said, let's get right into it. Now, when you go on the website, this is what it's going to look like, right? And from here, you're able to go and find the type of lead that you want. Now, for most of my audience and for me as well, uh, you're going to be here looking for service based businesses, right? Not necessarily software companies, but more uh, businesses. So that's what I'm going to show uh, of me scraping. And I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Now, when I click find service, we have software development, web and app development, design, marketing, advertising, latest in tech, and a bunch of different categories. Now, you can click browse all categories just to see everything they have. And you can see, you know, for mobile app development, you can get very niche down, like specifically mobile app development for iPhones, right? So for those of you who are launching segmented campaigns, uh, this is going to be perfect for you because, you know, let's just say that you are, you know, targeting mobile app development companies for whatever reason. If you're going to target a mobile app development company who specifically does development with iPhones, then, I mean, that's a very high intent lead off the bat. Okay, so that's kind of the concept of why this could be a really good source of leads. Now, let's go in here. You can see there's law firms, there's engineering services, aviation or animation, sorry about that, and multimedia and a bunch of different and a bunch of like different stuff. Now, for the sake of this example, we're going to do something simple, just like SEO, and I'm going to see how many leads there are for just the SEO category. Now, wow, just for SEO there's 22,800 companies. Now, obviously SEO is one of those bigger industries in marketing, so, you know, I'm not surprised there are so many SEO companies. But I am surprised that on one single platform, they're able to congregate this many leads. OK, but with that being said, let's get into how you'd actually scrape these leads. Now, for those of you who've seen my other videos, you guys know that almost all of my scrapers are actually custom right now. This is actually called a Captera scraper. That's actually for a future video. This is supposed to be called a good firm, good firm scraper. So sorry, I apologize for that. But all of my scrapers are custom, right? There's not really a easy solution for this sort of stuff online. And I have like a custom coded solution for almost everything that we do. Now, what I'm going to do right now might look a little tacky, right? Because it might seem complicated if you're not familiar with computer programming, but uh, it's actually very simple. Like in after you understand it once, like it's, it's super simple stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my terminal and both Mac and Windows have this, right? On Mac, on Windows, it's just called a little bit different. It's called CMD rather than terminal. But all this is is a command line interface, which just allows you to interact with your computer in basically in word form, right? You can just type to your computer and interact with it that way. Now, the first step, all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up that folder that I just had, right? And CD, those two letters, that is like the prefix in order to open up a folder through, you know, a command line. It's the same thing on Windows, same thing on Mac. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and drag this in and just make this a little bigger and click enter. Now you can see now it says good firm scraper. And all I've done is just enter that folder. Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly run npm install. All this is doing is simply making it. So I just installed every package that I need in order to run this code. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type in npm start and that's going to go ahead and start the program so now you can see on the screen it's asking you enter your desired search queries and page counts right now from here it's really simple it's just going to ask you you know what you want to scrape and how much of it you want to scrape so for seo what we could do is let's say we scroll all the way down there's going to be a button right here to go to the last page now if you wanted to scrape every single seo company what you would do is you would just put in page 448 as the last page right because obviously if you want to scrape everything, then you give it all the pages that it has. Now that's going to take a very long time. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go ahead and scrape only the first 20 pages. And you do that by simply copying this, bringing it over to your terminal and you put in the URL space 20. And when I click enter, this is going to start scraping. Now what I want to do for you guys is I want to open up the result file. This is where the, outputs are going to go and I want to show you guys we're going to delete all of these past results save it 
and you will be able to see the results being added live by the program, right? The scraper will actually add the results live and you'll be able to see that. Okay. So we'll just delete everything. And again, this might look a little bit complicated if you're not really familiar with this sort of stuff, but it, it really isn't like, it's just, you're just typing in basic English words, basic commands, and that's all you're doing. Now I'm going to click enter and we're going to see that those results are going to start popping up on the screen. It's launching five threads to go ahead and scrape. And you can see these results are being added quite quickly because it's a very fast scraper, but we're going through and adding all of these things into here, right? Now we already scraped a thousand leads on those 20 pages. There were a thousand leads, right? So that's kind of how the scraper works. Now, what you could also do is you could actually queue several different things. So you could come back to good firms and you can go to, you know, say you want to scrape some SEO companies. So what you could do is you could come here, SEO five, and then put a comma. And let's say you also want accounting software for whatever reason, copy this and let's scrape two pages of that. Okay. Now, when you do that, what you're gonna be able to do is with a comma, just click enter. And I'm going to go ahead and delete everything from here real quick. You'll be able to see that it's going to start scraping. There it is live. It's adding to this file as we speak. And you'll notice right now what it should do is it should stop scraping that. And now it's going to start scraping the accounting firms. Once it's done with SEO agencies and now, or I'm sorry, the accounting software. And you can see by this green side in the CSV file, it went from SEO agencies and then went into accounting software. So you can actually queue several tasks at once, right? And that's kind of how the scraper works. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's the rundown from here. If you wanted to take this data and actually get the decision makers, you could use a software like Apollo, which I'm actually going to show. Okay. So first thing we got to do is just put those leads right into Google sheets, right? All we need to do this for is so we can actually separate this column right here, which has the URLs with this column, which is the, the keyword that you use in order to scrape these leads. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to copy all of these URLs and we're going to take them into Apollo. Now, for those of you guys who have seen my other videos, you know, I talk about Apollo a lot. It's pretty much the number one software we use in the agency in order to find decision makers information. And long story short, it's very simple software. You just come in here, you can click on company, include slash exclude, paste this in, click include and search. And out of those 250 some companies, there's over 10,000 employees that work amongst all of those companies, right? Now, for most of you, you're going to be targeting decision makers. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is filter by decision makers right here. C CEO, CMO, CFO, CBO, COO. Let's do owner, operator, founder, president. Let's do executive. Let's throw in um, chair. Let's throw in board. Let's throw in partner. Um, and let's just put in marketing and sales as well. So as you can see, when I put in these job titles, immediately I have 2.8 thousand people who work at these SEO companies that are all decision makers and I can now get in contact with them. Now, if you were in the situation where you needed to target SEO companies, this would by far be one of the best ways of doing it, right? Because instead of going on Apollo or going on another software and trying to figure out how to target SEO companies in there, you target SEO companies somewhere else where it's very easy to target them. And then you just put them into Apollo to enrich your data, right? So that's kind of how that works. Now I do have another scraper, which is actually able to scrape Apollo. So you don't have to pay Apollo's outrageous prices. And that's actually going to be in lead Academy. Now, for those of you who don't know, or this is your first time hearing lead Academy is actually my, I guess, coaching program group, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's 49 bucks a month. It's not anything crazy. It comes with weekly calls, access to me and my partner, Tyler. You get a bunch of content. Like there's a, like a legitimate, like nine or 10 hour course. You get access to a bunch of stuff, including sales calls, onboardings, help with your offer, help with cold email deliver or help with deliverability, response, handling, VSLs, landing pages, legal contracts, a bunch of templates. You know, you have the weekly calls to come ask us questions. You get access to this scraper. We tell you how to scrape Apollo and a bunch of other information. And it's only 49 bucks a month. So 
if you are interested in having this scraper for yourself, obviously you could always go build it on your own, but if you are interested in having this scraper for yourself, as well as a bunch of other scrapers and a bunch of other information, you can always join. It's going to be the first link in the description. And with that being said, thank you guys for watching. This is a small channel. So if you did enjoy the video, if you did find some value from it, then please like, and subscribe and we'll go from there. But with that being said, thanks guys for watching.